Top 3 Hawk Strategies of Town Hall 11 Starting with Mass Hawks First we have a kill squad in this one and with that we'll have to take down the Eagle Artillery, the Queen and the enemy clan castle. That part is kinda split in this base. So with our kill squad, the Ice Golems, the Pekka, the King, the Warden and a few wizards for that, we will take the enemy queen and the eagle artillery. And to take down the enemy clan castle, we'll use one Ice Golem and the Queen. The eagle artillery will be taken down here, so now we can use the hogs. We will deploy them in two groups, the rage spell was not used on the kill squad this time, so we will use them on the hogs. But usually it is better to reach the kill squad. Now from this point on we will be just healing our hogs. And the success of this strategy depends on the efficiency of the heal spell. And of course good funneling as well. But if you keep the basics right and get all the objectives perfectly then you will get a perfect 3 stars. We have another poison spell remaining. That's for the skellies that pop up on the hog riders. But by the looks of it that's not going to happen in this base. So we will swag that later on. We will use the final heal spell right there to save our hog riders from that wizard tower and as the hog riders will get that inferno tower down the king and the pekka will be able to finish everything now this was not the best demonstration of this strategy because i missed the timing of the warden ability and not only that i also missed the rage but even with that this tripled so yeah this is one of the strongest strategy out there the second strategy is skill squad hogs just like last time our primary targets are the queen the eagle artillery and the clan castle but if we compare then in this strategy the kill squad is more responsible to take out a greater chunk of the base we will dive our heroes the same way and this time we have got bowlers initially we will reach them to take out the enemy heroes and we will use the king ability along with the warden ability there are two single targets in here so we don't need to worry much about that because bowlers will take care of them i'm more worried about that clan castle so we'll poison that and freeze them when necessary from this point on we can use the hog riders. We'll deploy them in two groups and keep a handful of them to deploy time to time. Our first heal spell will be required here just around that expo and you can notice that there are two baby dragons still in the composition. Normally in this strategy the baby dragons are used for funneling but since the kill squad went in without any problem we can use the baby dragon for cleanup and to take out some key defenses later on. And we will deploy hog riders on the side defenses so that they do not attract the main pack. Otherwise the hog riders will get split and their power will get reduced. And also deploy wizards from time to time. By the looks of it we can swag the last heal spell. You might want to start with the healing spell in your clan castle. That's because when the hog riders are deployed initially, they receive the highest hit. Well, this is pretty base specific. Sometimes the hog riders receive the highest damage at the core. So you gotta look out for that. And there we go. Kill squad hog is a pretty old strategy. Today we have got Zephyr007, True Lover, Mr. CR7, No Mercy, Frederick 2.0. Finally we have got Queen Charge Hog Riders. Here we'll start with making a way for the Queen and then immediately deploy the Queen followed by the healers. Right around the corner we will cut her pathing with the baby dragon and then raise the Queen to take out the enemy Queen. On this side we will deploy the super wall breaker. That's for our king, then make the funnel here with the wizard, another super wall breaker that will miss the target, then the king followed by the siege barrack. We'll have to keep an eye on our queen so that she doesn't go down, we will keep raging her and she will deal with this enemy CC. And also open that inferno compartment with another super wall breaker. The queen has done her job but we will rage her up again to keep her alive and now we can start the hogs. We'll deploy a few on that inferno tower. They will be joined by the hogs from the siege barrack and then deploy our remaining hogs from here. We also have minions so we will deploy them by the side of the king and freeze him for a little bit. We have more hog riders remaining that we will sprinkle here and there wherever required and then deploy our final heal spell here. The queen still has got her ability and we will use that later on but for the time being it's looking fine. We are out of spells but we are not out of the woods yet. We have deployed all the hog riders and as soon as the enemy king goes back to his altar it is very likely that we will 3 star. And he has gone back, the minions are chipping away at him and the healers have also transferred to the hog riders. And we still have got plenty of time and this will be a 3 star. We have the queen ability but I don't think we will be using that. She is on the outside and yeah there's no point in using that. 
if we were low in time then that was a different thing but we will get 3 stars here hog riders are fine but to be honest they are stronger when they are paired with miners so if you want to see the better version of this strategy with the miners then check out this video with this strategy no town hall 11 base is safe like this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one bye then Vabis, Kyoka, Legend Clasher, John, and Jaking. Thank you for sending me the friend request. And if you'd like to do the same, then this is my priority. I recognize some of the names. You guys are friends in the main account, aren't you? Well, thanks a lot.